What's going on guys? I'm Matt Stryker and welcome back, finally, to Reese Retro Toys. Now, a lot of people have been messaging me and commenting, asking where I've been. I did not abandon YouTube or uh, my toy hunts or anything like that. Um, what happened is my family and I actually uh, were able to move back to the Pittsburgh area. Uh, we're both, uh, my wife and I are both from the area and I had a job opportunity come up and we are officially Pennsylvania residents once more after being about 14 years away in uh, the DC metro area. So uh, we're really excited to be back home finally. We never stopped calling Pittsburgh home. All of our families are still up here and so we're extremely happy and extremely excited to finally be home. Um, if you haven't been following my Instagram page, uh, you can follow it right here at Rees Retro Toys. And I did explain there about what was going on and kind of like my absence. I posted some pictures of my toy room as I was moving out, as well as my toy room to be, which I'm standing in right now. Um, you can see the, uh, the decor is something to be desired. We've got a pink room. Uh, with some wallpaper border around it. That's all coming down soon, going to be repainted. So this is gonna be my new toy room. However, before we jump into that, I will document that process for future videos. Um, before I left our old house, I did take a video, a couple videos actually, of my collection as it was in my old toy room and in the basement. Um, we did move to a smaller home, so I'm not going to have near the space as I did in the old house. A lot of people asked me for quite a while to, hey Matt, it's time to get a, it's a time to get a, your collection filmed again, a uh, collection update entirely because I've done so many toy hunts and added so many different pieces to the collection. My collection doesn't compare to, to Andy's or Chad's, um, but I still think it's pretty cool. I'm very happy with what I have as a vintage toy collector. So, without further ado, I give you part one of Matt's vintage toy collection. I hope you dig it. Alright guys, here it is, the entry to my toy room. I know a lot of you have asked for this, so now's the time. I'm going to give you an updated tour of my toy room. I've got some vehicles floating here with fishing line. I've got two of the Rambo vehicles up there, as well as the Y-Wing Bomber from the Clone Wars cartoon. This is the Toys R Us floating rack that I bought from the Winchester, Virginia Toys R Us before they closed. I thought it would be really cool to have a piece of Toys R Us history. And here is my Attack Alley play set from the Karate Kid Remco line. Got Johnny there, Daniel, Chosen, Mr. Miyagi, got the referee and that's a knockoff dude there. Great play set, rare play set. Um, I was really happy to find that when I did. And then you guys know me, I was really big in the Star Ears. You know what? I am still missing Bowler from the one line. I've got all the good guys here over there and a couple of the vehicles as well as the mini there. I even have the transfer rings. There's the white transfer ring and the black one. I got those from my buddy David out in Illinois. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. I, I got an extra one of these guns here, so I figured I'd put that on the head of the Cobra. And then I got these guys here, two of the other vehicles, and then one of the minis. And there. I'm just missing Bowler there. I need him. Anybody have them? Let me know. And down here is my Jace and the Wheeled Warriors collection. Not super vast. And I've got a Zoid there because I couldn't fit them on the Star Ears shelf. <laughs> um, there's my Wheeled Warriors 
I only have Saw Boss there, and then of course the Walker here. I don't have any of the other bad guys from this line. And then down here is my Clubhouse Caboose from the Get Along Gang. I loved that cartoon when I was a young kid. And uh, I actually got this along at the same place where I got the Karate Kid playset. And here's a couple of my collector cases there. I got the Ghostbusters one, and then the unproduced line Operation Aliens collector's case. It's pretty cool. I think I'm just gonna go around here, close my door. I'll show you behind the door here. I've got my Ninja Turtle sleeping bag tacked up to it. Figure out what better place for it. So as we continue along the Toys R Us rack, here is my Fortress of Fangs complete playset. I've been really getting into Dungeons and Dragons lately, as you guys know. There's Elkhorn and Strongheart. There is a GoBots camera hidden back there. <laughs> Didn't have anywhere else to put it. Ringle Run, Paralay, the Ogre, Young Male Titan. There's the Gargoyle on the back. Kellic. A couple Series 2 bad guys. There's the shield shooter, Northlord. Oh yes. Love some d and I don't have his dagger, which is pretty hard to find sometimes because it's so small. He's a small figure. There's my um, safety dart Ninja Turtles game, which is pretty cool to have sealed in the box. There's the Bronze Dragon, as well as the Ninja Turtle Toilet Taxi. I got some Movie 3 figures back there. And here are my knockoff Star Wars cases, the Star World one, and then the Space Case. And then what else do I have back there? Oh yeah, I've got Wit with the Turtle Pult. Uh, Wit was basically Casey Jones, his character in the third movie. And down here I got some Lunch boxes, Ninja Turtle lunch boxes. The movie three one is pretty cool. You don't see that one too often. I got Cartwheel and Karate Dawn of the Ninja Action Turtles. And then um, Black Belt Boxer Mike there. One of my favorite collector cases is the GoBox case. I love this. Great artwork on it. Plus it's a unique design. Very unique. In fact, I don't think I've, I don't know of any other collector case that is like this. So I thought that's cool. Got my Dukes of Hazard lunchbox. Back there. And then collector cases down here. I got the giant Ninja Turtle case. Uh, Thundercats. Masters of the Universe. Dick Tracy. This is actually my original one from when I was a child. Um, and that actually is filled with the loose figure line other than the blank, of course. Chad is, uh, I let Chad borrow my blank figure, if you, if you guys didn't know that. So that's that's actually mine. Um, there's the G.I. Joe case, and then the Transformers case. Love collector cases. You could probably have a whole room dedicated to those if you wanted to. And continuing to go around, I got the cool early, Simpsons had really cool early merchandise. And this is a 1990, Bart doll still in the bag and in his box, which is pretty cool. Everybody who was a kid in the 80s and then grew into the 90s definitely loved The Simpsons as well. Here is the talking Alf doll. Wisecracking Alf. Very cool. And of course, I got a sealed Urkel from the Family Matters TV show. And then behind him, is talking Pee Wee. Now he is open, so I can take him out if I want to. Love these talking giant figures. Here's kind of a random shelf here. Another one of those early Simpsons promotional items. It's a bank. I got a Ninja Turtle cookie box back there. In the video game, I've got the Raphael football and a cookie tin. This Pepsi can is actually a water gun. I thought that was kind of neat. Uh, more lunch boxes. 
I got the baseball mitt up there and the, the uh, catch and toss that uses the Velcro ball there. And then underneath here, there's the Christmas bulb. They made several of those with different artwork on them. And then there's the Raphael Turtle Battle Fun Set box. I don't have the actual set, but I do have the box. Um, there's the Muta Bus, 100% complete, as well as all sorts of Mega Force vehicles. If you guys remember my videos over the past, I don't know, six months or so, I got some Mega Force from D and E and from Chad. And there's a Battle Beast vehicle there, kind of fits in with the Mega Force. And then. Um, here, so to the other side. Here is a cool Ninja Turtle movie poster book, sealed with the Hills price tag sticker on it, and then a WCW wrestling poster pen set. You guys know that I'm huge into wrestling, especially the old school stuff like that. And there's the Ninja Turtle Waterfalls game, just filled out with water play basketball and then down here is kind of a TV area I've got kit here with Michael Knight inside I've got the A-team van with all four A-team members inside of it and then here is the laser force set that I had as a kid I had this this one in particular the, with the blue shield because they came in blue and orange. And I had the blue laser force vehicle, kind of like tank vehicle. I just got this from my dad, found that in his garage. A 1983 Mr. Potato Head from Hasbro. Kind of a cool piece to have, early 80s. And then if you continue, here's another Bart doll with the lips all over him. Goodies, man. And here's a clinger Alf. Kind of squeeze him and clings to things. Ah, and here is my Power Lord setup with a Vulcan Rock. Again, it's not complete, but extremely rare. The Vulcan Rock playset is extremely rare. Such a cool playset. It's got the lava there on the top and the radar dish the different pieces of lava that go over the side there. Disguise ore. There's Shia. Drench. Sidot, I believe his name is. All sorts of different ones. I just got these vehicles from my buddy Andy at Toys for the Ages. So those are a cool addition. The elevator does work. There's the crank for it. Arcus. I think Arcus is a really cool one. So there's my Power Lords. Power Lords! Let's get rescue warriors. I am Lord Power, leader of the Lords. Griptog and Rhaegoth are attacking. We must help Psyduck defend Volcan Rock. Power Lord! Griptog has four fists. Psyduck is finished. It's Lord Power. He zapped Griptog's head. But Arcus has Psyduck. <laughs> And Empower Sidot, Grip Tog, and Arcus are each sold separately from the Power Lords collection, new from Ravel. Down here is the Flash Force 2000 Flash Force base. That is 100% complete and never put together. Um, has all the stickers inside. Um, just one of those random lines that Chad and I kind of both liked. We found a random vehicle at a toy store and we both kind of started researching that. That's from Matchbox. And it's kind of like a Mad Max type set. It has armored vehicles and different bases and things like that. Here is my metal, and it's actually in pretty good shape other than the price sticker there. My Masters of the Universe tin lunchbox with the thermos inside. Very nice there. Here's the box to my Star Wars Armored Battle Station set. A couple more lunch boxes there. Let's see if I can remove this. And there is the box to that, um, the cardboard GoBots Guardian Headquarters playset. If you 
guys remember me getting that not too long ago. Check this out. You guys remember season five of the Dukes of Hazzard with Coy and Vance? Well, not too many people do. <laughs> Here's the Coy and Vance lunchbox. You know, it's seen better days, but that was that one season where John Schneider and Tom Wopat walked out because they wanted more money. And they ended up getting it because nobody liked Coin Vance. And then we have the Pac Man one. Of course. Can't get much more iconic than Pac Man for the 80s. There's a sealed uh, Cosmeter Star Wars box, which is a cool set. Um, I got a couple sealed Captain Power, the Power Jet, and the Interlocker. Uh, and there's the other Flash Force piece that I have. It's called the Dark Seeker, Seeker Battle Van. That's the one that I first found. Chad and I found that together, and um, I ended up buying it. So there's the middle of my room with the Toys R Us set. Do a quick scan here. I've got my blimp up there, and my wall of carded Ninja Turtles, of course. TV there with an original BC. I was watching this Metalhead uh, video magazine from 1991. <laughs> Has Megadeth, David Lee Roth, Ozzy, Anthrax, Slaughter. Good stuff. I got my Super Nintendo in there and the Genesis. A bunch of VHS back there because I'm running out of room. Original Nintendo. I got my PlayStation 2 that I found on the side of the road in a garbage bag, left in my garage for five years, and I, and I found it, plugged it in, and it worked. How about that? I was pretty impressed by that. And of course, uh, original VCR. I also have a Roku hooked up down here. Here's that. All right. Well, I am going to continue the tour here after a quick commercial break. Okay, so I'm going to continue the tour with the left side of the room as you would walk in the door. Here are my original San Francisco Toy Maker WCW figures. I collected those when I was a kid, so I was like 14, 15 when these were out. And so I was picking these up right off of the shelf, like at uh, Family Toy Warehouse and Hills different places like that and carried that. Uh, the Hogan and Sting pack, you don't see that one too often, which is, it's a, it's a good good piece to have. These are actually becoming a little bit more collectible than they used to be. You could get these pretty cheap a few years ago, but now a lot of people are, are actually wanting them. I mean, they have some iconic wrestlers. They, I mean, you've got the Giant and Hogan, Vader, Macho Man, Ric Flair, Sting, Harlem Heat, Nasty Boys. This is a good one too. You don't see this one every day. The Blue Bloods, Lord Steven Regal and, and uh, Bobby Eaton. Great little tag team there. To a lesser extent, the Craig Pittmans and the Alex Wrights of the world. <laughs> There's an Andre the Giant clip on. There's my uh, switch plate that my mother-in-law got me, I think for my birthday or for Christmas. Goes in well, I think. And then uh, along with the old San Francisco toy makers, I collected Jacks back in the day, right off the shelf. I think I've got the first three or four series of Jacks. WWF superstars, of course, there's uh, Ultimate Warrior's return. As short-lived as it was, he did return. So, Brett down there and Undertaker, Shawn Michaels. Here's the box for the good Destrier. Battle Horse there from Dungeons and Dragons. I do have the box for it. 
Then we got these little ringmasters down here that were out at the same time as the Jack series. I don't know if you guys remember seeing those or not. Got a couple of stomp figures here, Brian Pillman, Stone Cold. And if I continue over here, here's a few more, the bad boys. Look at that, Hunter Hearst Helmsley before he was Triple H. There's an Austin Signature Series. There's those um, Spin Fighters. I think I have six sets of those. Have, uh, different characters on the discs from I think that's probably from about 94, 93, 94. And we have Jerry the King Lawler in Austin. We got Justin Hawk Bradshaw and Farouk. Jim Ross is hiding back there. There's some collector series pins. These are from about 91. You can see that's Hogan. And um, Ultimate Warrior, I think that's Legion of Doom back there. Here's some of the Jax 2-packs, Sean and Vader, and this is a pretty rare one too, the Razor Ramon and Diesel, rest in peace, Scott Hall. There's my sealed Shia of the Power Lords line. And more Jax, Mankind, British Bulldog, Psycho Sid, Ahmed Johnson, Bret Hart, and then I think, yeah, there's Sean back there. So that kind of hits that wall. And we'll start here. So there's the Jack's monster ring back there. That's actually sealed. I've never opened that. And there is my giant Hogan from the LJN line. He does not have his belt, but he has his shirt. There's the Hulkamania workout cassette. There's the Survivor Series Jack's box set. that has Sean, Brett, Goldust, and Warrior. These are exclusive figures, like the exclusive paints. Knock off Hogan there. All sorts of different Hogan figures. There's Thunder Lips from Rocky. The LJN, WCW. There's a Hogan mug and a NASCAR set. That I believe is like a, either a candy topper or like a bubble bath topper. Nightlight, Clip. Bendy, and some newer figures as well. There's the bubble bath. Here's a couple knockoff figures, Scott Hall and Adam Baum. I like this. I got this from my buddy Carlos. You guys know from Toys from the Ages. A WrestleMania 7 Coliseum Home Video pin that was given to the video stores. I thought that was kind of Couple more knockoffs there. Got the Headbangers, the Godwins, Mr. Perfect, the Stone Cold. There's some of the, like, I think they're the, called the WWE Legends series that Jax put out. A few of them. And there's my giant Hasbro Hogan and Warrior in the box. They're not sealed, so I can take them out if I want, but really cool to have the box. And there's a lunchbox. The Jack's microphone is right there in that box. And then an Ultim Ultimate Warrior toothbrush. And Nightlight is there. So I'm going to do this in sections. So this is going to be the first section of shelves. There is a, a riser filled with Masters of the Universe, as you guys know. All sorts of different ones. Um, I try to get them with the weapon, but, you know, as much as I like Masters of the Universe, it's not one of the main lines that I collect, although you've seen as many figures that I have, it kind of looks like it. Um, you know, I'm in Wrestling Turtles and Star Wars, so uh, Masters of the Universe is kind of secondary to me. Like, I'm not... I'm not trying to get a complete Eternia or get all of the spaceships or vehicles and play sets. It's just not, I mean, I like it. Don't get me wrong. I like the cartoon, but yeah, it's just not a, not a collecting priority for me. Here's Air Raiders. Kind of cool vehicles there. Uh, there's the Sky Striker pilot in G.I. Joe. There's the Cobra Adder. That's um, a vehicle that I had as a kid. 
more aerators in the box. There's the bridge layer vehicle, the silver Mirage vehicle that I had when I was a kid. A couple of the Star Brigade G.I. Joe figures. And then here is my collection of Double Dragon figures. The Double Dragon cartoon was around 93, I believe. And I ended up watching it on Tubi. And I'm like, this is kind of cool. I kind of like this cartoon. <laughs> so I ended up kind of getting into collecting the toys because they're really not expensive. And I got a big lot on eBay with the car there for a really decent price. So that's kind of why I got some Double Dragon stuff, although it was kind of after me at that point. And I got some, uh, there's a Nerfle there. Another one of those things that I found at my dad's. And uh, what else? We got Police Academy. There's some James Bond Jr. There's a boxed Silver Mirage there that I just got from DE, as well as a Zod, a boxed Zod from GoBots. There's some knockoff Power Rangers that I loved. I found in a box in my dad's garage. <laughs> I don't, I believe, I don't like, I do not like Power Rangers. I never liked it. But, I mean, those are weird. <laughs> those are funky looking. Um, there's a G.I. Joe Sergeant Slaughter bubble bath container. That's neat. There's a golden girl all dressed up like Alice Cooper, which is, is nice. There is a knockoff mad ball. When I, I originally thought this was a bonkers ugly ball, but somebody corrected me and said that no, it's not. It's actually a knockoff of a bonkers ugly ball. Whatever. It's cool. And then we got some Killer Tomatoes that I found, uh, I think almost a year ago now, around Black Friday. We got down here, I got my Hulk Hogan watch that I've had forever on the card. Captain Power, Corporal Pilot Chase on the card. I got some cops on the card to go back there. Skeletor Bubble Bath. There's Squeeze. The Bashasaurus in the box. There's my Godaiken figure. And the GoBots Power Marchers. There's their uh, remote controls there. There's the figures. My Rock Lords Rockasaurs. There's uh, the Snarly Gnarly. Some more GoBots. More He Man. There's the, I think it's called Bion Bionatops, with Merman on top. Bionatops is pretty rare. Here's Dragon Blaster Skeletor with the lock. Again, you find him quite frequently without his accessories and especially without the lock. So having him like that is really, really nice condition. Of course, the classic Panthor and Skeletor, Road Ripper, Snake Mountain. There's a, a vintage He-Man Nightlight, which is cool. Buzz Off. Castle Grayskull. Battle Cat and He-Man. All the primary characters are kind of on this shelf. And the, the other ones are on the other. And the last shelf on this line, we got a bunch of carded Dick Tracy. On Jakarta Dick, Dick Tracy because again they're really cheap. They're slowly inching up in price but not terrible. And then here is my Ghostbusters. All sorts of different vehicles, bright feature vehicle, uh, figures. There's Slimer. Oh, Janine fell over. I didn't even realize that. My Egon fell over too. Highway Haunter. More fright features and ghosts. A very clean Ecto-1. Like, I mean, it's super white. Super white. I don't know how long you guys have been with me in the channel, but I have a video of when I found a lot of these Ghostbusters in a huge lot that a woman just gave me because she was going to be donating them to Goodwill just wanted them out of her house. I even offered to pay her, by the way. I'm not that crass. <laughs> I offered to pay her, and she refused to take it. So, God bless that woman. 
We got Mario and Luigi from the movie, Super Mario Brothers movie. And of course, the firehouse. I've got the sign there. I've got Noid hanging out there. The glow in the dark ghost. There is a uh, bubble, uh, bubble gum ball dispenser. That's that's what that is behind you on there. Random eyeball there in the containment unit. It's a complete firehouse. But just so you guys know, this is actually the second series of firehouse without the purple paint on the facade. I got that from my uh, buddy Ecto Toys that frequents the Green Castle Toy Show up in Pennsylvania. All right, we will continue on with, I hope you guys are enjoying this and it's not boring you, but I have a lot to cover yet. So let's get to it after this commercial break. We'll return after these messages. A fantasy world of crystal warriors, demons, and wizards. Good wizards like Ogeodi, evil wizards like Zardeth, and underworld demons like Moltar. We've captured Ogeodi! Each figure with a crystal prism that makes everything look like this. Witness and right, evil and might, the winner is up to you! The Saga of Crystal Collection. Each figure sold separately by Remco. All right, starting back up in the next section. We got the Ultimate Warrior Water Pumper. And some Battle Trolls. And Stone Protectors and Snailians. Randomly sprinkled in there. Defenders of the Universe. And my New Kids on the Block. Figures. Or dolls. <laughs> As well as the stage, the stage in the box back there, behind them. Different item ups up there, some more wrestling. There's some WCW Bendem figures up there. And there's some, there's the giant Galoob, uh, Ric Flair, and Sid Vicious. There is the WCW ring from Old San Francisco Toy Makers behind them. With the box. Here's some Exo Squad. There's a random giant Superman. There's the WCW collector case galoob for Galoob. And um, the Sting Watch. And then more WCW figures up here. Uh, there's Galoob and San Francisco Toy Makers. There's Doom. Sting, Ric Flair, Arn Anderson. Barry Windham, Luger back there, the Steiner Brothers, all sorts of different ones. There's DDP, Scott Hall, the case of WCW trading cards back there, still sealed in the plastic. Come down here. I like this shelf. I love me some Toxic Crusaders. I don't have the whole line, but I love the colors on these guys. There's some uh, Pac-Man wind-up figures, smart. But yeah, here's uh, Toxic Crusaders, as well as Swamp Thing back there. And then it goes into my Rock Lords collection that I pretty much nearly completed at this point because I just picked up Saber Stone there and then got Solitaire here at Toys for the Ages. I've got the Rock Shots. I love this line. I love the Rock Lords. I don't know why, because I really only had Tombstone. This guy here, the green one with the yellow eyes. I only had Tombstone as a kid, but I loved him. I played with him all the time. So it's cool to have the, the other ones. I would love to get the Fossil Saurus, which I think was a Japanese exclusive combiner figure, but who knows if I'll, if I'll ever find that. That's my Rock Lords. Goes into Supernaturals here. I don't have the whole line. Some of them are not complete, but again, very cool line. And here are my Chuck Norris Karate Commandos. Some random figures sprinkled in as well. 
wherever I have to have room, basically. There's some more Chuck Norris back there. And I think Robin, yeah, Robin Hood is back there. I'm sorry, you can only see so much. Uh, different, different figures are back there, but most of it's Chuck Norris. And moving down here is my mask collection. Got some boxes here, Raven, Gator, Manta, and the Jackhammer. All sorts of mask vehicles. Chad really got me into mask. And I think Chad has probably gotten many people into mask over the years. <laughs> he, it's definitely one of his favorite toy lines. sorts of mask here. Switchblade, the volcano, hurricane, and here are the exclusive figure sets that came with different different accessories like uh, adventure packs basically. I put them behind acrylic cases there just to be able to, to uh, display all their items and not lose them. And then down here, we got some Batman, Batman watch, and of course the Toy Biz Batman figures that came out for the movie, Bob the Goon, the Joker, and then behind them there is Batman. I've got my socket poppers that I love. This, this was the set that I had when I was a kid, the Dracula and the monster, like a muck monster or whatever. And I had two more sets. Again, early 90s colors, bright orange card back. And these guys are actually from Ertl. Cool little toy line. You can, it, it's exactly what it says, socket poppers. You took their arms, legs, and head off and you could rearrange for all sorts of, create countless creatures, all sorts of fun. And then we get into my GoBots here. Uh, you saw the box earlier for the Guardian Headquarters playset. Uh, it's actually for the Super GoBots specifically. <laughs> you didn't know. So here uh, I got some Super GoBots and I've got, they made so many GoBots, right? It's kind of hard to display them all. So I just kind of lined them all up here going, going up the ramp. Um, there's Bug Bite there, the yellow Volkswagen and the Super Bo uh, GoBot Psykill. All sorts of different GoBots here. Vamp, I love Vamp, he's a cool one. Leader One, both versions of Leader One, the gray and the blue. There's Scooter, there's Space C, the spaceship. And then if you go over here, here's another GoBots playset. I got this at um, South Carolina when I was visiting Myrtle Beach the last time. Kind of a rarer machine robo playset here. You don't see that often. And of course the combiner GoBot figures. There's the GoBot um, Guardian Command Center there, which is a great, great playset. If you sit it down and open it up, lots of, lots of play time there. And Monstrous, and we got Puzzler, and also different not GoBots, but very similar style of GoBot figures there as well. And then if we go down here, we've got Psycho there on the card. And we got Pee Wee with his famous scooter <laughs> on the card from Matchbox. I just picked this guy up, Tomahawk on the card, Swamp Thing. Here is a complete Slingum Flingum wrestling ring from LJN for the WWF Wrestling Superstars line. You don't see that every day. And then here are my LJN figures. There's a couple mugs. There's an Andre the Giant mug and Hulk Hogan in the 80s. There's some Bendems there. There's Roddy Piper. He does have his kilt there. We've got the British Bulldogs with the belt. Bam Bam Bigelow. Adrian Adonis. I got the Heart Foundation. Killer bees. There's some beat up 
Demolition Axe and Honky Tonk Man back there. Harder to find figures, but those are the only ones that I have. Uh, as beat up as they are. Of course, we got the Thumb Wrestlers. Are you really an 80s toy collector if you don't have a wrestling thumb wrestler <laughs> in your collection? I mean, you, you you can almost go to any flea market and find one at any given time. Uh, poor, poor Elizabeth, I don't have her skirt. There's Mean Jean, Jimmy Hart, Slick, Tito Santana, Bundy, Big John Stud, Heenan, Mr. Fuji, all sorts of cool stuff there. And then this is the last section here of, of the track shelving anyway. I've got the crash car that my buddy Matt just helped me complete. I've got that with the box. More Exo Squad. Rocket rollers. I got those from my buddy Chad. And then there's the sewer sport balls. I got all four of them. Leo, Raph, Don, and Mike. And then it goes into kind of like the Predators and Aliens. More like the early 90s toy lines here. There's a Mexican um, bootleg blow mold Robocop right there, as well as some Conan pieces. There's Al the Alien Hover Tread, Conan. There's the giant Predator that just came out not too long ago, as well as the Queen Alien. More Alien and Predator figures. Little wind up robot. I think he actually still sparks. I had that when I was a kid. Random Jurassic Park. There's the uh, Freddy Krueger figure. It's kind of like a makeup effects doll that they were going to make various figures of, but they only made Freddy. And I think that's the toothbrush back there. There's a big Terminator 2 Arnold Schwarzenegger figure. Yeah, so this is kind of like an early 90s shelf, really, for the most part. And we continue down here. And we get into, we got some um, Dino Riders figures, as well as some um, Sky Commanders. Some little guys there. And some Noids, of course. And there are some Robocop figures. Some complete, some not. Cool line from Kenner in the late 80s. And then it goes into the Cops and Crooks. Another very cool action figure series that came out. Didn't get super popular. I think they did want it to get a lot more popular than it did because they did have two waves. But I don't know, I just, I just don't think kids were that into them. The case of the big bank job. Big Boss and his gang of crooks were escaping in the roadster. But hot on the tail was Officer Highway on the cop cycle. And he wasn't letting this bunch of crooks get away. Yes! Cops and crooks, vehicles and figures sold separately. With Random shelf here. Got some Flash Gordon and Black Hole. There's a Pac-Man and Gummy Bear and Alf. Random Commando figure. Here are my uh, Brazilian Rambo figures that I got from the BOD, Brothers of Destruction. There's a Kit figure, or Cat. Did I say Kit? I mean, I meant Cat. Um, Sectars, there's an Invasible back there. I don't have all the Sectars. More Rambo, some random premiums here. Flintstones, Captain, or, or Fruity Pebbles, Captain Crunch, Chuck E. Cheese, McDonald's. There's some Shadow Strikers. And then here's some Rare Series 2 Rambo. You don't see them every day. And more Rambo here as well. And then continuing down here. More Mask. There's a vision, a couple visionaries that I have. Swamp Thing, there's a Robocop back there. There's my set of Willow figures. They didn't make a lot for Willow, but they did make these figures. 
And then Centurion's another line that Chad kind of got me into. I remember them as a kid, and I remember watching the cartoon, but I never had any of the figures. Probably because they were expensive. <laughs> so, probably why I didn't have them. But, great line. Great line from Kenner. Uh, there's more Swamp Thing back there, and the Bog Rover, and the Transducer. More Centurions, random uh, Voltron figure. Back to Cops and Crooks and their vehicles. There's the Bayou Blaster, Swamp Thing. And more Cops and Crooks. There's my lone Secret Wars figure that I have, Captain America. I had him when I was a kid. Played with him constantly. It was the one action figure that my kind of a strange uncle gave me uh, when I was a little boy. Um, it's one of those rare, vivid childhood memories that I have. And uh, there's some Batman penguins. All right, and then moving down here, some carded Ghostbusters. I got the Mummy Monster, the Bug Eye Ghost, Fearsome Flush, and then the Fright features Janine and Peter Bankman. More GoBots combiners. I think that's the GoBots, um, maybe a water pistol or something. Knock off Mad Ball. Oh, what is this? Steel Monsters, I believe. Steel Monsters, it was kind of another one of those Mad Max knockoff lines. King with the figures and the giant vehicles. Kind of a cool line there. There's a Commando figure and the 6x6 Defender vehicle from the Rambo line. There's the Stegosaurus Bone Age. There's Goliath from Mask. And then here's a Indiana Jones figure that my nephew Aiden gave me, which I thought was very cool, because <laughs> I told him I didn't have an Indiana Jones figure, and he gave it to me. And then Starcom. Everybody loves Starcom, right? The Magnets. Always with the Magnets. <laughs> I hope more than one person got that joke. Um, great, great line here by, uh, I think, yeah, Coleco, right? Starcom. I don't have a ton of it, but what I do, I really like. So that's Starcom. And you guys remember when I got this, the Fort Curium playset. It was a huge grail of mine. Love, love this playset. Had it as a boy, played with it constantly. Not only that, but it came with the box, which I was excited about to have that. There's a random California Raisins bank hiding out there as well as some Series 2 Barnyard Commandos. And I have my Brave Star figures mingling with Barnyard Commandos here. Just for fun, why not? And then back here, I've got this kind of a knockoff uh, Robocop figure called um, Galactic Man, <laughs> Radio Shack knockoff and carded Captain Power, Lord Dread, right there. And here are my Remco AWA figures with the ring. I'm missing one turnbuckle post and the red rope. So, anybody happen to have it? Uh, any, any of those pieces, a, a red turnbuckle post and the red rope, please let me know. But yet Freebirds and Ric Flair and Road Warriors. Got Rick Martell back there. Marty Jannetty. All sorts of different ones. The referee there. Yep, there's my AWA. So, all right, after this quick commercial break, we will continue the tour and head on over here into the left corner. Outlaw Scuzz's days in Fort Carrium Jail are numbered. The evil Tex Hex is planning a jailbreak. Now for the bank and all that Carrium. Brave Star's hawk like eyes see the danger. Has the evil Tex Hex finally won? Or is Fort Carrium safe with Brave Star? Only you know the answer. Neutral Laser Command Center, Bank Jail set, and figures each sold separately. Batteries not included. Some assembly required. Brave Star from Mattel. 
All right, guys, so that was part one of Matt's vintage toy collection from back in the old house. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and hit that like button if you did, and subscribe to my channel at Ree's Retro Toys for all of your toy hunting needs. Stay tuned for part two of Matt's vintage toy collection coming at you soon. Keep on.